This is Kuban Cassius for Eiffel TV in association with MTK Global. We're in Moscow here for Yusek Gassiev. I'm joined by Terry Flanagan, who will compete in season two of uh, the World Boxing Super Series. Hi, Terry. I'm good, Kugan. How are you, mate? Yeah. Good. Uh, well, yeah, we learned uh, um, just about a week ago, really, that you will be added into this tournament. So, yeah, why the decision to enter, first of yeah, all? Yeah, it's what I wanted. Uh, I mean, losing that last fight was not good, but... Uh, it was always to get in this either way. The only thing that's different is I want a seed. So, yeah, it don't matter anyway. You've got to uh, beat them all to win it anyway, so it don't matter who I'm fighting. Did you watch, or have you watched, uh, Marie Tucker defeat back? No, I've never watched it. No. It's the truth, yeah. I know, I know I wind myself up watching it because of how many mistakes I made in the fight and how poor I was, so I've not watched it. I will watch it at some point, but can't bring myself to watch it at a minute. Does it still kind of feel fresh in your mind? It does, yeah. I know uh, it's a close fight. Don't get me wrong, it could have gone either way. And a couple of the scorecards is a bit daft, my side and his side, but yeah, it's one of them things, it's boxing life goes on. But yeah, I'm gonna watch a fight back at some point, but I just can't bring myself to do mm. it just yet. Frank, Warren was you know, saying that there was talks of a potential rematch uh, yeah, between that, you and Marie Tucker. That, thing, that was first and foremost what I wanted. I mean, I, I think I phoned Steve and said I'd go over there for free to fight just because I, I knew I could beat him if I boxed out of normal box. I didn't have a box at 50%, so yeah, it was uh, frustrating. But yeah, this this come up, Steve, Steve Wood was pushing for this. We got in this, and uh, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy now. Mm. I mean, I could have easily come back, had an easy couple of warm up fights, and then gone gone into that world, world title fight but I didn't, I, I, I fought him on Fountain straight into a world title fight the way above, just didn't help, I'm making excuses, shit happens, I got beat but yeah I'll come again, I think I'll be a better fighter now, we'll have to protect that unbeaten record, uh, everyone going on about was the longest unbeaten British champ, longest reigning unbeaten British champ and now that's gone so I can sort of just concentrate on uh, doing my own thing now. And obviously, Murray Tucker was announced as one of Eddie Hearn's signings uh, for the zone for his new US venture. So, yeah, that's kind of left there. And you're now in this tournament. So, you know, you're fully focused on kind of getting yourself back in the mix. And it ain't really a better way for you to do that but then by winning this tournament. Of course, yeah. I mean, I've been picked off the favourite to uh, of the tournament. So, hopefully, come through this fight, I'll be favourite. But don't really matter to me. It's take each fight as it comes and yeah I was happy to get in this it's one of the best things in boxing this tournament I mean people rival promoters can f fight each other so it's it's great like that and uh, it's what I always wanted to fight against the best and there's uh, seven good world class world level fighters in it and uh, I'm hoping to come out on top. What do you know about Regis Progre? Obviously he beat Velasco recently to kind of cement his place in this tournament, yeah. um, how much of it him have you seen, and are you impressed with him? Because he looks a very good fighter. He's strong, and he's short, stocky. I've been in around the hotel with him all week, so I've seen him. See what yeah. he looks like. Have you been chatting to him? I'm not really chatting to him. I chatted to the other lads, but yeah, I've been sizing him up a bit. He's big, looks solid, but it's one of the things that it can be outboxed and all that. And uh, I know if I'm on the game 100%, I'll beat him. I know well because. I'm a better boxer, I'm a better fighter, I know him. I mean, you you and Josh Taylor have kind of been kept apart for the semi-final yeah, draw. I was then. surprised really, I thought mm. that, uh, he would have picked the other American kid, but and then it would have been a British opener, but no, nah, he chose me, he probably seen some, probably seen that last fight and thought, yeah, easy work, but it's going to be a couple. Is that why you believe, because oh, obviously he chose you as yeah, his he did, opponent yeah. in the, the quarter-final, so, you know, do you think it's because just the fact that you were defeated in your last fight. I don't, always probably, I don't know how much he knows about the other kid. I don't know much about the other kid, but uh, yeah, I know uh, he's probably watched that last fight and thought yeah, it's a winnable fight for him. And oh, hopefully, I hope it's over in the States. He's got to go and um, fight. It's uh, even less pressure, so yeah, I'm not bothered. I'm easy, me, Coogan, you know me, I don't give a shit. It is what it is. It's fight anyone. I know. Oh, we know that about you, Terry. Um, but yeah, I think it's, I mean, it's a long way off, but the thought of yourself and Josh Taylor in a final kind of appeals to it's us great, back home it? that, a lot. That, that would be like, separate sides of the draw because 
I'm, I'm very confident in getting to the final and I think Taylor's got the easier side of the draw. I think it, it'll He's be... fighting Ryan Mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the, he'll have the winner of... Uh, is it Yigit? Yeah. 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 That, what is it? The Beast from the East or something? So, yeah. Uh, I come through this one. I'm boxing for a world title, so that's what I want. That was my, that was my goal to become a two-weight world champion. It's still my goal now. All right, well, listen, we'll wish you the best of luck and obviously we'll hopefully catch up with you ahead of uh, the first night of the quarterfinal, whenever yeah, that is. Can't wait. Coming up soon. So, enjoy the boxing tonight. Who you got out of you, second guess, yeah? You second, I think. Yeah. I feel, uh, yeah, be a top fight either way, but I think you second, Nick. It. Look forward to it. Do you know Steven Seagal's here? Nah. <laughs> yeah. He's here, yeah. He's here. Yeah. Apparently, he's not doing interviews, which I was gutted about because I really wanted to put this in his face. Mm -hmm. but I don't really want to chance it and go up to him in case you like... What's he doing here? He's not with it. I have no idea what he's doing here, but he's definitely yeah, here. He's, he's literally, where you're sitting ringside, he's on the other side of ringside. Yeah. So... Good man. Yeah. Helps All right, the girl. Okay. All right, Terry, thanks for talking to IFL TV. Thank you.